What's up? What up? Hey, man. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope you guys try to stay positive, have good vibes. Hope you guys don't try to do too much. Just try to just maintain, relax. If you're going to want to go out and enjoy yourself, be safe and be discreet. Don't bring too much extra attention to yourself or unnecessary attention to yourself. But uh, in this video, I want to talk about law enforcement and the law in general. I respect law enforcement and I respect the law. But there is flaws in law enforcement and the law. And I want to give uh, a short example. I recently watched a video. Now, I don't think this video came out recently, but I just recently watched it of the Walmart shooter. And, uh, you know, just the situation that transpired. I don't know which one happened first, but I saw the first video where he was at Walmart. They told him to uh, stop or whatever, turn around and all that stuff. And he kept walking. And I think they tried to tase him. He hit the ground for a second, then he popped back up. And then shortly after, he, he fired shots at them. And then a couple of officers had to return fire. One officer stayed to, to put, to uh, get two of the uh, assailants or the people that the, the shooter was with he put them in custody while the, his partner was pursuing the suspect, the shooter. And eventually, he uh, they he was able to get him in custody. He did wound, you know, shots. He didn't kill him. There wasn't no fatal shots. There was non-fatal shots that the shot the shooter sustained. But he he got wounded, and uh, he got treated. And I believe after. Um, I don't know how much... He, well, the guy got out, out on bail. So he got on bail. So I, I want to assume the Walmart situation happened first. But he got out on bail. I mean, just me saying that is, is crazy. Like, you shoot at a cop. You, you, you attempted to murder some cops just to get them off of you so they wouldn't, you know, put you in custody or arrest you. You fire shots at them, fatal shots at them, whether you hit them or not. And you get bail? How did that happen? He must have had a, a great lawyer or... I don't know. I think the dude looked like he was of Asian descent or something. He don't look Caucasian. But you would have thought he had white privilege. Because golly. How in the world can you get out on bail after shooting... for After being arrested for shooting at police officers? I'm appalled. But this is this is what happened. So they they caught back up with him again. Or I guess when he uh, was out on bail, he got pulled over for something. And when he got pulled over, he had a a, a fee a passenger. He had a passenger with him. No, I can't remember if it was a male or female, but he def he definitely had a passenger with him. And uh, the officers. Um, after checking, you know, his license and checking the uh, passenger's ID, the ID was not matching up. They were suspicious of it, so they uh, felt legal grounds to search. So they, um, what they did was they had the same guy who was out on bail, the shooter. They let they um, helped him out. He he got out of his car, and they allowed him while they were questioning the passenger outside of the car they, they put the, the shooter who they didn't know he was the shooter at the time they didn't know he was the Walmart shooter they didn't know he was out on bail for shooting at police officers so they allowed that guy to not sit in the back of the uh, squad car but the passenger seat of the K9 vehicle so the same vehicle that the officers used with where they had the K9 in there, they put that the shooter, the guy that was the Walmart shooter, in the passenger seat without cuffs. 
So they were so nicely and graciously, <laughs> they nice, they graciously allowed this man to sit in the passenger seat of a cop car with a canine in there, in the back, at least the back back, and then you didn't handcuff him. And then eventually what happened was the shooter stole the uh, police car. So he he's now being pursued by the officers in the other vehicle, the, the other partner's vehicle, because he stole the K-9 vehicle with the K-9 in there. And then eventually, somehow, some way, the K-9 vehicle gets disabled. And this is the most dumbest thing right here. This is the worst. This is even, this is the worst than what I just said. The stupid ass officer, and I'm not calling officer stupid, but that dude should have been, I hope he got fired. Ain't no way you should still be employed when you let this happen. So he, not only did he allow the shooter, the Walmart shooter who was out on bail, to be in, to sit in the passenger seat without cuffs on, but he left his uh, pistol, service pistol, or you know whatever is normal nine millimeter nine millimeter pistol in in the vehicle with the passenger with that guy. So. I guess you felt like he was no threat. To allow this man to sit in your vehicle, your police squad car, your crate, your K9 vehicle, without cuffs on, and you leave your gun in there while you're searching his car. So while the officers were searching his vehicle, this dude was like, shit, they ain't even handcuffed me. The gun right here, I mean, I'm taking this vehicle. And then so when it got when the vehicle got disabled, once it, the uh, the chase stopped, now he's firing shots at the officers with the same gun that the officer left in the K9 vehicle with the damn shooter, or with the damn man who was out on bail who they didn't realize was out on bail. But whether you know somebody's out on bail or not for shooting at police, how stupid can you be to allow a citizen, a pedestrian, or a regular? person that you're searching you're conducting a search he may have drugs in his vehicle he may have a weapon in his vehicle and whether you searched him and frisked him or not before you let him in the vehicle maybe that's what it was he didn't have the gun on him and they were like oh okay well he doesn't have a vehicle uh gun on him he's cooperating and yeah yeah just sit in the passenger seat man you'll be all right let's let's let us just do a little search and you're, you're good you're good to go So I don't know if the cop just forgot that he had the uh, pistol in there, or he just thought that the, the the guy was not a threat or an issue to where he would even think about grab stealing the, their vehicle and taking stealing a gun, and then eventually trying to kill them with the same gun that he left in that vehicle. So it needs to be some changes in that law enforcement. I am all I am all for y'all protecting and serving, being good peace officers, being respectful to the people, and if you have to conduct a search for whatever the case may be, I can appreciate the fact that y'all can you know could be still polite to the person that you're conducting the search for. I've been searched many a times, and for the most part, I mean I've had good and bad experiences, but <clears throat> recently in my years, they've been very polite. And they respected that I, I cooperated. But never have they ever put me in the passenger seat of their vehicle with their gun, with their weapon in there. And I'm not handcuffed. I mean, I wouldn't try to steal their vehicle or try to attempt to kill them with their own gun anyway, their own weapon. But still, for the life of me, man, that's, I have heard it all and I have seen it all. When, watching that video, I was just like, what? And then, this was even worse. While they're shooting at him, the officers, the officers, they, they are so, I mean, they gotta be safe. They gotta be in a safe position and a safe uh, spot so they won't get caught by any bullets. Cause dude was, he seemed pretty accurate. He was the, the officer's gun that he was using. I don't even know how many, it made me wonder how many bullets he had. Cause he was firing quite a few shots at them. And then he carjacked, he tried to uh, GTA some people that drove up and thought he needed some help because the officers were from a distance. They were firing from uh, at a distance. A 
across the way. And then what happened was the the the, uh, the shooter ended up shooting at the people that pulled up, not knowing what was going on because he they tried to see if he needed some help, and then he pulled the gun on him and said, "Hey, if y'all don't uh get me to drive me to where I need to go, I'm gonna kill y'all." And that the dude that was in the pasture, or the person that was in the pasture, moved the barrel of the gun, and then the guy, the uh, the shooter, shot fired shots and it hit the middle of the dashboard of that vehicle of those people you know those uh, uh the victims the people that just popped up that just showed up and then it, end, it ended up hitting the passengers the guy that mushed the gun or the barrel of the gun and moved the barrel of the gun he ended up getting shot in the leg but the officers weren't while the the whole time you would have thought well I guess you know they didn't want to risk him shooting them if they if they were trying to pursue, catch up and get closer. But I don't know. I just felt like they should have been a little bit more aggressive in pursuing him than allowing him two different people to drive up because he fired shots at them. They drove off. The people that uh, the shooter shot at, they drove off. So they was able to get away even though the passenger was wounded. And then the, the officers are re shooting, firing shots at the... Uh, shooter again and he's behind that the, the the canine vehicle still so now he's trying to shield himself behind the canine vehicle and then he ends up he ends up getting shot in the leg by one of the officers so he's wounded and backup took forever to get there and he, eventually by the time the officers finally got there he dad realized that he had already ran he ran uh from the truck down towards some little river and then they end up finding him and he was in custody and he only just had a gunshot wound and now he's locked up but that is was horrible police uh business right there that was a horrible police job right there and i hope no officers make that that mistake that they made or that that officer made you cannot be that careless you cannot be that comfortable doing your job that you forget that in any given moment somebody a uh, person that don't want to go to jail and don't want to do no time they might be desperate they might try to kill you or, or do something so you got to be cautious i'm not saying be over aggressive but you still got to be on point as a police officer so when i saw that video i was thoroughly disgusted i was like what in the hell's going on man are like, y'all so nice all these people because in my from my lens if it was a black man and I'm not trying to make it about race, but if it was a black man and he did any of that stuff, first of all, he wouldn't be out on bail for shooting at officers if he was a black guy anyway, in my opinion. But then on top of that, there's no way. It's, I felt like they would have emptied a clip on a brother immediately. They would have went to the extreme. They would have went, it seems like, and I'm not saying all officers are like this, but it seems like a lot of officers, when they're pursuing a black suspect, they, they go overboard. They go overboard. But when it's someone else that's that's non-black, let's just say that, there's always some mysterious, oh, they, they're able to get in custody. They're the ones that sh fire shots. Most of the time, <clears throat> you won't find too many black, I mean, there's a couple of them, but you won't find too many black men firing shots at officers. They'll run, they'll try to get away. But they ain't gonna really be trying to kill you like that. Other races of people that, you know, certain whites, and then this gentleman, he wasn't white. They'll try to, they'll fire shots at officers, and next thing you know, they got them in custody. I'm like, wait, why are they not dead? Anyway, man. Y'all be safe out there, man. Officers, y'all's job is very tough, but be on point. 